Hey guys, it's Holly from Hunter Ryan. Um, if you ha looked at the video that's going to be loaded for this, um, that this was supposed to actually be this video, um, but took a little sidetrack into Honesty Land. Um, give it a watch if you want to understand the way that things are going to go on my channel going forward. Um, I appreciate and definitely will use um, constructive criticism. Um, unfortunately, sometimes what's thought to be constructive can actually cause harm, so I just gotta be me. Um, if you don't like me or the way I do my videos, then, you know, I can't try and be a psychotic Easter bunny on crack if I'm having a really bad awful day. So, going forward, you're getting the real, real. Just going to be me. Thank you, Carrie T. Very important message at a very important time when needed. So now, that I've wasted another minute rehashing, let's get to what this video is supposed to be about and that is three more boxes of shop goodwill finds of mine um that i'm very excited about um and the two boxes are from salem and one box is from south florida so um, this no, I think it was just the light. So, this is a very exciting one. And that, and unfortunately, um, Salem doesn't put receipts in their um, boxes. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they're all like part of that using my system of doing um, advanced search for items that are at a buy it now because they've come and gone through, but I think I did pay up on this one. And that's, I think I paid up on it because it is Patagonia. So this is a really cute women's white hoodies Patagonia vest. Nice and tailored, goes in a little bit, fit up the waist, it is like ridiculously soft like so soft so I'm going to try and get this uploaded um, I touched on, on it a little bit um, in the last video if you didn't see that or don't care to watch me ramble for 15 minutes on my bad awful days um, my friend Lori and I are going to, okay good, I must have found his wallet, um, Lori and I are going to be doing a challenge, it is completely a how much can we do, including wash, prep, all of that, take pictures, list an inventory of weigh items, how many can we do in seven days, we're not going to give it a arbitrary goal just because that is part of an issue I have and that's like not just giving myself a challenge but in many cases if I can't physically do something for a couple days and then I have this big challenge looming then on a day that I feel okay I then try and make up for the six days that I couldn't do anything, so then I end up taking myself out for longer. So, reality, it's time for me to challenge myself, but with realistic goals, and that is I'm going to actually use block scheduling, which that's a big goal um, from, you know, like following some of both Becky Parks and Leslie from a reseller's dream 
um, both of them like something I really want to try and do is work on block scheduling and actually adhering to it not getting lost in oh I've got to respond to these 6,000 text messages email Twitter well Twitter I've killed off my Twitter so I'm not even going down that rabbit hole anymore but just trying to focus on everything's turned off and actually from this time to this time I'm going to do this and having backup contingencies so if I had block scheduled today I want to do like three hours of taking pictures and I wake up and yeah you're not standing <laughs> stooping up down yeah, that's not happening today with this body so then I could have a contingency plan of, you know, like doing the research on the items that I was going to list, um, working with my inventory, you know, having contingencies that I can still feel productive even if I'm stuck in bed because of my body or I am limited to 15 minutes that I can do anything because everything so that's kind of where we're going and so I'm going to work on this for this weekend so this has a little mark here so I'll add that to laundry spot treatment um, stuff that's going to happen on Friday um, and then these guys there's just a little um, mark that needs to be removed from these, and then that is perfect. It's just they were written on, but these are like brand new. I mean, there's, there's just what was written on there. These are Crocs. They're kind of they're like a fabric little wedge but like really comfortable looking and like really nice you know padding in here so and they are a size right on there okay um it's not there either there's like a little sticker in there it's it says w9 on that little sticker so maybe these are nine, all women's nine. I think, maybe. So I'll give them a measure. And it's called Dual Crocs Comfort. So do the little bit of cleanup on those. And those will be part of the listing. And then these are super cuteness. They got them tied together. I love red, black, and white together. All stars. Really excellent shape on these guys. And these are like the mid rise. They're not the low ankle. They're not like the low or the high top. So they're that kind of cool mid ankle size. They are checked. Check to their all stars, and these are. This is it says it's a junior, um, where it says gender junior size six. So I think that would probably be like a five women's, maybe. So I will look up the. These actually almost look like they fit me. There's six. Maybe it's a boy six, and then that would be like a seven, maybe even an eight. Women's. Not positive. Okay, so these, I was like ridiculously happy I actually got these um, with the lower offer price. These are men's Doc Martens. They're nice little. Um, loafer style, they are size um, 8 
men's, which would be uh, nine women's, I guess. And it's the Doc Martens Boil. Um, the, I, I did get these as part of, not just because it's cool to have some Doc Martens, but also, um, and I think I got them for the low price because, you know, there's like some scratches and rubbing on the toes. But that's like perfect for some stuff that I want to do um, once I get my tables and stuff set up downstairs. i um, doing some tutorials on how to repair um, and bring back to life, restore shoes and purses. So I kind of got those for that tutorial. So. That is one ringy dingy. Um, oh, this is the other. That one was from Salem. This is the other one from Salem. And this has some more clothes. Um. Okay. So this, I did look the this um the comps up on this, and they're pretty crazy. Like it's been good. Um. This is Ndua Louis. Feral, um, and it is a um, or it's a vintage Louise Feral um, skirt set, or no, it's a dress. And I forgot it was a nice skirt. It's a dress. It's like a little um, sheath dress. And it's got like a nice little floral on it and then it's got the little um kind of blouse slash jacket that can be worn over top so you can either button it up make it look like a skirt set have it unbuttoned so you can see the dress this is a very interesting um oh and it's a u.s size 10 but it's kind of interesting on this. Normally, um, when you have a silk item, it's silk on the outer thing, like what people can see, and then like it'll be polyester inside under your, on your skin. This one is like, oh, we're taking care of you. The lining is actually silk, and then the outer side is the acetate. I think it is. Yeah, it's nylon, or rayon um, acetate blend on the outside and nice and soft silky silk on the inside next to your skin and it's a gorgeous little peach so this will also be part of the listing challenge then i have a new tag um this is a gh bass and company explorer size small, so it's like a little fleece, um, quarter zip front, and then it's got like a little side zipper pocket here, really fun green and black mixture, um, and it retails for $94, so that was a great get, um, shopgigwell.com and that would be in my stock of things for the listing challenge and then I got two pairs of shoes and they actually put one of them one pair in with the pair that came new and bought or they're not new and bought so much they've been worn. Okay, so these are Vince Camuto. And it's just like kind of a really cool look sandal. So instead of having the like the V coming up like that, you've got the little toe leather strap and then across the ankle and to the side. So I got I have another pair that does have like the more traditional V that way so I thought this 
would be like another cool statement pair of sandals with summer hopefully fast approaching um, it sure feels like it here because last week actually yesterday <laughs> it was cold and today it's like already ac's back on um sweating into the tank top um these are a seven or size 37 i mean gorgeous shape like you don't even see any toes or feet I mean, you can tell that they were worn, but not like overly. So these are really pretty. Those will get listed with this challenge, as well in the original box. Um, well, maybe they haven't been worn. I've, I've seen it look like, from the light, it looked like it was dark. Um, Cause it just looks like there's like some fuzz underneath here. It's not like dirt, it's fuzz. Um, there's a little rub there that probably just needs to be cleaned. Yeah, the toes definitely are showing somewhere, so these have a more. So there's a little wear right there that again, I'll be able to touch that up um, with some polish. And then this can be, this is suede, it's a little brown suede, um, and then you've got kind of, instead of having the rubber, you've got like a, a leather on the back for the driving shoe, really nice buffs sole, and these are the dark chocolate suede size six and a half B and it's the Pam. I put on. And so those are really cute. So they do have a little touch up to do so that'll be part of the preparing stuff for how many can we list next week. And then this I'll look and see like if it's, I was kind of getting this for myself, but if somebody wants to offer enough, yeah, I, might, I might go ahead and list it. But this is really cool. So it's a smart foam projector 2.0, um, fits phones up to 6.3 inches by 3 inches wide. Get more from your mobile movies and photos with Smartphone Projector 2.0. Just slip in the lens, pop in your phone, and enjoy mobile content at home or on the go up to 8 times magnification. Comes assembled. I read that off the back. I didn't like know it. But it's kind of cool because like, it's like the... It's like a kind of design to look like it's a old movie projector, and it's just it's just a wooden box. Um, doesn't look like it's been used before. Okay, so um, I guess well, that's kind of bent right there so that needs to be re-glued down so it's just got like this little box that you open up like that and then there's a pretty thick glass lens in here a tube so it's kind of like um if you're old like me, you used to kind of do this with like a pen, pen box. Um, we, we call them the pen pull cameras, and like you would take a box and put a pen in it, and using um, glass or mirrors, create a camera. Which, uh, this is the little focal thing, and then. 
this. Okay, so this is a sticky pad, which I guess you put it right here so that your phone will sit on there and kind of kind of be held at that angle. Okay, yeah, so that's the box. So yeah, you put the lens into the little thing. There's springs in there to hold it. Um, then you put that sticky thing on the back there. Then that way when you sit your phone on that and you push it in, then it's gonna project um, because the lens on the front. So let's we'll see. See how this turns out. Um, but I thought like maybe if I'm doing something, you know, inside, like in the room where I don't have a TV or something, um, I should put that in here. I can like throw my phone because a lot of times I'll like listen to um, people's YouTube's while I'm doing something, but, like, obviously I'm not going to, like, mount my phone on the wall, although I guess I could, but, um, so I could just put, like, my phone in and, like, have it, um, showing on the wall next to, like, where I'm working, um, people's YouTube, they, like, show my phone, so then that way, while I'm working, I can just look over and see what you guys are showing off in your halls and stuff instead of, like, stopping what I'm doing and going back and, like, wait, that sounded like something I want to see in person, so, that's, I got it for me, but we'll see. Alright, um, then I also got this was downstairs. We, I got these in from Amazon. So this is the ink and stain remover that I talked about the other day um, with the yellow purse that somebody tried to remove ink the wrong way and I can't find my bottle of this so I just ordered another bottle because I definitely use it enough that I can get another one and then this is just another bag of masks because even though I bought like 50, I keep like not being able to find them. So, alright, so then now this box of Shop Goodwill is from South Florida and just how it's kind of like a 19. Derby's little derby pixie hat, but, um, because the way that it was stored, um, the felt actually, or the, the hat band, I guess it would be, it's like a ribbon hat band, um, came loose, because I think this got pulled a wrong way, because it's kind of, they're trying to do it so that it kind of comes like that. But because of the way the hat's been pushed, now the glue can loose. So that needs to be re-glued. It's a nice felt. Um, this is exclusively, this is a um, Swiss um, company. So this is made in Switzerland. And it is a Rundschwig. Rundschwig. Um, so like a lot of times in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, you'll see, um, like, this kind of hat, like, sometimes they'll even have, like, a, um, different, a Volks marching, or it's, like, a walking, kind of like, you know, how we have marathons, they'll have, like, walking things, and, like, when you participate, you get, like, a little medal, um, Volks means people, and, um, march, walk. Okay. okay, and then of course it can't be oh this is so cute. It can't be a Shop Goodwill unboxing without me getting an Etna Ashe because I love it. And it's actually making a good comeback. Guys are starting to 
to grab it now that they're seeing that this is just like still really great quality there's you know items out there on the market so like you know right now you're able to get them at a, a little bit lower cost than I'm I'm going to call a prediction that Etienne Anye is going to be up by the middle of this year because people are starting to grab it. It has been out there, but people kind of ignored it because especially like the younger crowd, they didn't really know about Etienne Anye and then people my age. And then this is a newer one. This isn't a vintage because you now they're doing that same kind of hang tab like coach. And I think them like having some more modern pieces like this will start to help also with that bringing um, them back into the forefront like they were in the 80s and 90s. Really nice clean bag. And I'm just excited that. I'm in on the, the hunt early so that I can get some great bags and shoes and um, hopefully I will get boots coming soon with a really nice high Etienne Anya leather boots coming soon. Fingers crossed I win the bid. And then we also have a couple of coach bags. Um, this one does need, this is canvas, um, it's only a leather strap here, here, and here. Um, I guess you can have it as a shoulder bag or a really big wrist hook. Um, but I like the little silver tag, a little extra tag there, really nice size. Um, it just says it um, needs a good little scrub down. On the outside, the inside is looking pretty clean. I don't really see anything in there that needs work. So, um, this probably won't go on the listing challenge because I'm going to try and do, once I get my tables up um, downstairs, like I'm going to just have all of my fabric bags that need to be scrubbed. I'll do. Um, you know, over a day, a couple days or whatever it takes, um, and film some, um, tutorials and what's happening kind of things. And then also, I'm getting a lot of these guys, um, so there's the brown and gold, and then this is the gray, black, and silver, so two pairs, um, yeah, the black ones are larger. Um, the black ones are the Jamie, the J-A-Y-M-E, 6. And then, um, this is still also a Jamie, J-A-Y-M-E. Um, it says it's a 6, too. This one looks bigger. These are supposed to be 6s. Yeah, I guess they are. Okay, yeah, so these are both sixes. So if you're a six and you want to have a brown and gold and a black, a gray, and silver, there you go. Um, the suede on this one is going to actually probably need a little bit of dye touch up as well as the brush. The brown just probably just needs a good brushing. Um, kind of funny, um, yeah, the body on this one is pretty good too, so this one's probably just going to mainly need a little brush up of the suede, this one's going to need a little more work on the black suede, but the body of it looks really good, so, that's that, and I'm losing film in my leg, okay, so that's, and again, those will probably, well, these, since those just need to be brushed out on the suede, these might um, make it into my listing. This is going to be like with that coach bag and go into the how to fix it and all of that.
Okay, so this is going to be a teachable moment. These are huge. So these are men's size 11 um, M, um, and they are scary top siders. This is just like super, super soft leather. Um, it's like ridiculously soft. It's okay. That's like really soft. This and um, really, you know, like yeah, it needs to be cleaned on the bottom, but they're in really good shape. But they did not have barrel wall, and I was asked in my last video what I meant by barrel wall. So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial for you guys, real quick, and then I'll do like another one. Um, that will be a little more slow steps. So basically you're going to make a square knot, which is, done. I'll do this one too. So square knot is you're basically doing your wrap through, pull, and then wrap over through. Um, you see it's basically making a square there. That's why it's called a square knot. It kind of looks like you have two loops like going through each other. Okay, so instead of making bows with leather um, um, laces, because a leather's not going to hold a bow. It's kind of silly, it just comes undone. So what you're going to do, and these have been cut, so they're not as long as they are usually when you first get them. What you're going to do is make, like you're going to make a bow, you can see that, and then you're going to twist it really tight. So now you have like this little twisted piece. You don't have to hold that. Call from plus one. Sorry, that was just scam likely. Okay, so now you've got like this little short section that's twisted, and you're going to take this piece, and you're going to wrap around that and you're gonna like make that nice and tight work that all the way up like that you see and then you're gonna that little loop that you had on the end from twisting you're gonna put the end through and that is a barrel top loop and that's what you should do to tie off your top siders or like any kind of shoe that you get that has I don't know what I did there so any shoes that you use like a leather lacing that's like a really good way to do it um other than doing the square knot when you have a barrel thing the other thing you can do is actually just um, pull your laces to like where it's comfortable for you to go in and out of and then you would make this so that it actually starts there so that the end of your barrel knot is kind of sitting up against there or you can do it like this and do like a little just Kind of like a little knot there at the, at the hole. So there's a lot of good ways to do that and this keeps you from cutting your leather lace and it's not going to fall over and you're not going to be tripping over it. It's going to keep it out of the way when you're in the water and stuff like that. So it looks cute as well as it is functional. And that's what I meant by a barrel or a knot um, when I said it the other day. So, quick and easy. There we go. Alright, um, this is a new tag berry size 4 little kind of wrap skirt. So this actually, it buttons here and then snaps here. So it is actually a wrap skirt, even though it's not a tie one, so you open it up. Button, 
one cotton, and then a double snap. It's really nice. It's all my scuba material thickness. That nice cute little berry skirt. Um, and it's new with Todd. So put that into the listing um, challenge. Then these are Brooks Brothers. Really nice little flats. They're a navy fabric. This needs to just kind of have a spot cleaning with leather trim and bow. And these are a size eight. Brooks Brothers, so those are nice. And then these, I was really surprised that I actually won these for the low bid. But, I mean, they are kind of raggedy, so they are going to need a good cleaning. So it's kind of like an Aspagerol bottom, gold, and kind of a yellow um, with a rubber sole. Tory Birch. Um, you've got leather here. This is a gold leather and got the gold toy birch logo there so some cute little strappy gold espadrilles with a nice flexible bottom so i did pay up a little bit obviously because they're toy birch but i was so happy with what we paid for them um these are a vega a via speaks Vega. And these are a smaller size, I think. Oh no, these are eights. Okay. But they're really cute. They've got that skirt off toe. Kit well, sorry. Kitten heel. Really nice leather inside. Not a lot of toe wear. They have been worn. Um, you can see there. And just keep in mind, like stuff like this, you can actually touch this up with edge dressing um, or if it's wood like a, a wood um, stain that is not going to rub off that gets absorbed into the wood and then they will look brand new so but these are really nice leather and wood size 8 the kitten heel great shape See the stocked heel. Those are in great shape. So those will get listed over this next challenge. Got one of each. These are so adorable. Salvatore Ferragamo. Navy white with gold tone accents. I love this. This right here kind of reminds me of the um, Lily Pulitzer um, little smocked tops, and this would look darling. Um, I actually have a Lily Pulitzer blue and white. Kind of, is this it? Yeah, this is a different one. This is a different brand, I think. But it's like, yeah, this is bar three, but it looks kind of similar to the Lily Pulitzer. Or no, this one's a cat's eye, I think. But this would go with this too. Um, the Lily Pulitzer I'm thinking about, it's more of a chevron kind of pattern. But this would look cute with that, or even like the, um, the white linen with kind of like the, it's like a, do you call that a yoke? Because it like comes around like that and then it's got a little bit of a slit opening, but then it's got a wide um, trim around it. The, those would look really good with this. And, you know, nice little heel, you know, very slow, small heel. And that is the Salvatore Ferragamo Boutique size. It's 
7. So these are size 7. And the last pair of shoes in here. These need a little clean up on the front there. But these are coach signature fabric with a leather sole. I love the hardware. It's a silver tone hardware. I do kind of like with the with the black um, signature. I do actually like the pewter tone hardware the best, but I do also like the silver tone. Um, this is made to look kind of like the little claw connectors, but it doesn't actually have the mechanics to be able to open. So you're not going to lose it. But really nice, again, that squared toe, which is on trend. Kind of started the middle of last year on the trend. And um, we can keep seeing that because I don't think people are going to be wanting that high, extreme fashion pointies and all again. Everybody wants to kind of look laid back. Um, Comfortable, but these are really nice. So, yeah, probably the only real major cleanup I need to do is just this front has like a little bit of shag on it. From looks like something might have been spilled on it, so that just needs a quick spot cleaning. Um, and then this one, since it's from South Florida, I actually got my receipt with it and, oops. and I had 14 items $14.27 shipping $56 handling tax of $5.32 so for the 14 items the total was $89.59 and the last of the items is this fossil it's kind of, um, it almost looks like it would be a backpack. Just that shape of it kind of like makes me think of a backpack. Um, but then it's got a nice long crossbody, which is adjustable. So let's see what we have. So we can make this. So we got a nice little shoulder bag or crossbody. So that's a nice changeover. Um, and now this is leather over a webbing, um, which I think is is good for making sure that you're not really having. Um, the issue is so much with leather cracking um, from how it's being handled or whatnot. Um, so I think that webbing is actually going to make it, you've got the webbing that's going to be up against your skin, getting the sweat and salt from your body and absorbing it rather than your leather strap, which that's what damages your leather. We've got the large fossil key. It has a twist front lock. Also in gold, kind of a goldish green. Um, it's still got the silicon bag in here. So this might be new. I mean, there's nothing else in there. So, oh, looks like for another silicon packet. I don't see like any, oh, it's actually got the card, so yeah, so this is new, without the purchase tag, but it's got the, this bag has been made with care from high quality genuine leather, so I guess I got a better deal than I thought I was getting on this one, and then it also has um, a full around it um, back and then that's where you can put your 
cards. It's got a place for you to put your cards. And your identification. I guess you could slip some money in there too. Um, I, if it's new and it's got a card thing like that, I don't know. I might try and look up and see if it does have any kind of RFID um, characteristics to that back pocket. If not, I would strongly suggest get, you know, like a little um, thing of, it's like little packets you can shove your cards into that keep them RFID. So this is perfect. This is ready to go. So that's ready for the challenge and that is it. Thank you guys so much if you stayed with me um, through this whole thing because I did take a little longer than normal because it is definitely not a energized or bunny on crack day. Thanks guys so much and I appreciate you guys understanding that I just gotta be me and there will be days when I'll be high energy and all of that. This, this isn't one of them but I can still do what I needed to do today. So thanks. Have a great day. Bye.